Um, I just broke my blacked out GoPro housing, the one that looks like this. Just shattered the plastic piece right here in half. Too much muscle. Well, when they're $13 <laughs> off Amazon, can't expect much. So I'm back to the clear case. Um, we are gonna be setting up Christina's whole setup today and I figured it'd probably be good to show you guys because people were asking about my vlogging setup, what I use. And then she's gonna be riding her bike. Um, she actually did ride it one other time, but we'll just call it for the first time. Um, we're just gonna stay in the parking it's lot like probably. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're gonna stay in the parking lot, kind of go over, this will be kind of part of the beginning to ride series, learning to ride series. Uh, this will be the first installment, although I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it just yet, so. Hey, should um, I talk to you or that pimple? That's messed up, <laughs> that's messed up. So first off, this little mic right here is the Sony EMC, what is it? ECM PC 60 mic. So this mic is incredible. Obviously you take it off of all this bullshit and you just put a little windscreen over this guy and then you put it in your um, helmet. Um, next thing we're gonna do is put on her GoPro. They actually sell helmet front and side mounts now. So we just got one of these. We're gonna put, what are you gonna put it on the side or what? Yeah. On the side? Okay, on the side. This is also her new helmet. It has, it's a built helmet. We got it from Cycle Gear. Um, there, it was on sale for like 219 bucks. It has a built-in Senna. Uh, Bluetooth, it has the speakers, uh, has a mic in there, everything's built in, which is awesome. It has a thing that flips down. It's the same one I got my dad, if you guys have seen that one. Except hers Except isn't modular. Is so I think we're probably gonna put yours, what, over here? Put the GoPro over here? Probably. Something like that? Okay. This is the uh, lady's current outfit. <laughs> okay, so we ran the mic, this is what we did. Um, you wanna take the, take the cheek pad off? Uh, I started here and ran the mic all the way up into here, and the mic just sits right there. Sadie, what, do you th what are your thoughts? Look at her. And they just run it behind the cheek pad, and what I do is I stuff all the access right here in this part. There's like a little pouch area, you can put it in there. And when I'm not using my mic, when I'm not using my GoPro, I just stuff this in there. So my mic's always in my helmet, so I never have to mess with it. All right, here's the finished product. Uh, we put a windscreen on her mic and put it right there. Once her cheek fits in here, it'll kind of mold in a little bit better. And then her other mic is just right there behind that. Boom. Uh, that's how the GoPro looks. Nice and blacked out. Um, we'll probably screw with the cords a little bit here in the future, but God, I can't believe this is the best we, we can do right now. It's, it's pretty sad, actually. Man, I gotta tell you guys, dual vlogging is the biggest pain in the ass. Now I'm getting a phone call. Fuck them. Why are my high beams on? Okay. All right. So, we got her shit set up. This bike is pretty fun, man. So we got her shit set up, as you saw. Um, now... I bought some of the tools to put on the frame sliders, but... I can't loosen that one bolt, and I think it's like a torqued bolt that has to be torqued to a certain percentage of power and bullshit because I think it might be uh, connected to the engine. It looks like it's going to freaking storm on us. It's supposed to rain here for the next four days straight, P.S. I love Pennsylvania. Um, so we're going to go down to the BMW dealer where I just took that uh, S1000 single R out and see if they can help us put the frame sliders on real quick. And then we're gonna go down to Cumberland Valley School, which is where I went to high school, and Christina's gonna ride her bike. Oh yeah, that baby, that baby purrs. I'm so used to riding in California, I want a lane split so bad. Yeah, this thing has a cool feel to it, man. Let's see, what, see how it sounds. Man, those brakes are shit. So yeah, this is still in the break-in period. It only has 13 miles on it. So you're supposed to be gone and going through the gears and jerking it off. All right, let's see what we got here. So she's just putting on the rear spools. I believe that's left. Yeah, you want to go in the other way? I know, I got it. Hi, Christina, welcome to motorcycling. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Wes went in there and got the big guns for this bad boy. Oh, there it is. I think I loosened it for you. <laughs> How freaking long is that? Oh, is that the right side? Oh, 
trying to see what this swap here is for. Oh yeah, he's our hero. Thank you so much. BMW Velocity Cycles, he's the service he's manager. If you need any work done on your bike, come down, tell him I sent you. Wes, love you brother. Thanks. This is uh, Tony's bike. That's Tony, by the way. Yeah, how's it going, I guys? like that helmet, too. Um, so this, this is a uh, CBR 600RR. 2008. 2008. And Tony is upgrading. First of all, this bike's badass, dude. That is a sick looking bike right there. But Tony's upgrading to the what? Uh, the BMW S1000 RR. Oh, ho, 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 ho. let's go take a look at it. So there's his brand new bike, man. <laughs> S1000 RR. Dude, how excited are you right Dude, now? I'm so pumped. Dude, longest day of work ever. Yeah, fuck. But that's all worth it right there, dude. You want to start it up real quick? Yeah, man. Start that bad boy up. Oh my god. This is the new Honda Rebel? That is the new Rebel. 500, yeah. not 250. Yeah. Look how cool this is, guys. Sell. This is a Honda Rebel. This is also available at Velocity Cycles if you're interested. Brand new 2017 Honda Rebel 500. Look at that big fat tire, dude. Rubber, rubber for days, man. Very cool. All right, let's get this bitch cranked. Oh, yeah. So that was sweet. Wes got us hooked up. Emily and Brandon helped us order some uh, all the parts for my bike to change the oil. What the shit is she doing? I'm gonna die. We're good. Um, that was sweet running into Tony down there. We just got that S1000 double R. Um, we're definitely gonna have to do some rides together. That'll be really cool. What are you waving at me for, buddy? I'll come over there and smack your ass down. So now we're going to the parking lot and let teens do some riding. Hey, babe. Want to go out sometime? Are we recording? <laughs> no. You look like you like to get flogged. Not interested? Not at that pinhole. That's okay, you got an eagle nose anyway. Yeah, this has a nice growl to it, man. I think if we put a s exhaust on this bitch, probably just a slip on. Oh, wow. So now my, f what the hell? Yeah, my, f my knees actually hit the frame sliders. <laughs> oh, good old uh, Yamaha R3s. Yeah, that's weird. How's it closer? Huh. Yeah, this side hits and this side doesn't. That's weird. School's like just letting out. I'm over here like revving a bike. Ripping around on a motorcycle. Don't hit me. All right, you're all right. Sweet, I'll check in with you guys in a minute. So, we've got GoPros, we've got motorcycles, we've got a girlfriend. This is gonna be basically Christina riding her bike for the first time. Um, we've got a big open parking lot here and hopefully she's going to get to a point where she's comfortable enough to get to, on the road soon, but um, we're taking baby steps. Yeah, we're taking baby steps because we, we don't want her to get hurt. We're still also waiting on riding jeans. They're ordered, but everything else, she's fully geared out. We'll do a gear review video in a different video, but for now, yeah. Yeah, she'll know when she's ready, so I'm not going to push her. Don't rush me, people. Yeah, don't rush her, guys. That's why she didn't ride the bike home, because she wasn't comfortable riding on the street. She's already passed all the basics. She's been riding. One thing that I told her that really helped her with the clutch, a lot of people have problems with the clutch. And so she thought... Stalling. Yeah, she... I kept stalling, and I was like, damn it, why am I stalling? Yeah, so she and thought that... Because I... Oh, do you want to say it? Yeah, she thought that when you're using the clutch you had to be perfectly in sync with the throttle and the clutch so that you just leave it out all the way right away. And then I explained to her that you actually just need to find the friction zone and you can keep it in the friction zone until you 
give it enough throttle so the engine's going, and then you can just let it out. And that makes a really big difference. I feel like when I took that safety course class, they were acting like that needed to be fully out and I needed to be going. Yeah, like it was had to be how one. Like, how my left hand is not like cord with my right hand, so my left hand's not going to cooperate at the same time as my right. Yeah. And so I kept stalling, and then when we went out, he was just like, "You can play with it. It yeah. doesn't have to fully be out until you're going." You can play with it. Play with it. Please. <laughs> Let's turn these cameras so off. I, I tried that, and then right away I got it. Yeah. So. Goal today is just take it around. Starting and stopping. Starting and stopping in nature. Make sure you can start and stop. Just feel the bike out. Feel the bike and feel a lot more comfortable turning. The frame sliders are on it. Low speed turns. So. And maybe shifting some gears. Yeah, I think there's plenty of room. We have the biggest parking lot ever. <laughs> Great thing about this, you do not have to pull the clutch to start it. Yeah, you don't need to pull the clutch to start Great Yamaha. <laughs> Yamahas which is pretty cool. I love the sound of this little parallel twin, or inline twin, sorry. Sounds good. <laughs> Your feet? Oh yeah, so she can almost flat foot. She's pretty close. In her little Dionysus. Yeah, but well, you're good. So why don't you just go and take it around a couple circles? Right. Here she goes, guys. Doesn't know where the shifter is. So that's good. What? Didn't know where the shifter was. Did. Did I'm just messing with you. All of YouTube's. Hey, but no big deal. There's just a couple thousand, couple hundred thousand people watching. That booty, though. Oh, she's got that. No problem. She looks good on that bike. It's a good bike for her. She's comfortable on it. That's the most important thing. I think she's just scared about shifting gears right now. That's like the last kind of thing for her. She needs to just kind of like get used to shifting and realize that it's not really a big deal. Downshifting can be a big deal. If you don't rev match correctly, you can get a little rear wheel spin. That can be scary. Okay. Bring it to a stop. Pulling that clutch. Perfect. How is it? it was good. How's it feel? It feels really good. Yeah, just remember, all this is is a big bicycle. Yeah, but I'm saying it's it's a bicycle, so all the same rules apply with turning, with weight distribution, everything, you know? So keep going. Do a couple laps until you're comfortable, and then you can try shifting a gear, and then down shifting and stopping, just like we did in class. There you go. Hell yeah. So she's going to do some... Uh, <laughs> She's gonna do some figure eights, some left turns and some right turns. The throttle on this one is a little jerky because it's a, a twin, so it is a little bit herky jerky because it has a little more torque. What's up? Nothing, how was that? Good. I saw your little herky jerky over a here. Herky -jerky. Yeah. Remember, throttle is always your friend. Especially when you're turning. If it feels like the bike's gonna fall over, give it a little bit of throttle, stand it back up. My right turn sucks. Because what ha what happens is people get scared on the turn mm -hmm. and then the first thing they want to do is brake and then the bike just falls over. Yeah. So on the bike, it kinda seems counterintuitive, but a lot of times throttle is your friend. It gets you a lot of sticky situations. We're going to let you just practice off camera. If anything exciting happens, we'll turn them on. <laughs> Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need to focus on this anyway. So good job. It was good. We're just going to keep doing this, and yeah. this is going to be boring, guys, so there's no reason to really watch this. Thank you for Jared for coming out and standing. <laughs> He's like, if only we could ride to the gym. Oh, yeah, I said my patience, my patience is wearing thin now. It is wearing thin for him. 
but I'm trying my best you to keep her safe. I would. I don't want to ruin this body. These thighs. She just finished finals this week. Congrats, babe. And so we're gonna go out and have sushi and celebrate tonight. Maybe we'll include you. We'll include you guys along. Yeah. If you guys are interested, if you're interested in seeing daily life stuff off know. motorcycles, yeah, just let us know. We're down to film whatever. I'd say a couple weeks. <laughs>